morning everybody, FSC Trucking. Was that fun yesterday or what? Actually for me it was a little bit. All right, we're gonna get on with today. Orwell behind me, Orwell's my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. Named him Orwell, George Orwell wrote the book, Peterbilt built the truck, here I am with it. Let's go, let's go check out our load. We're gonna go drop this off today. We did some really cool rolling shots in the pouring rain. That actually came out pretty good. I checked them out yesterday. Oh man, that looked good. Can't wait to come out with that video. All righty, we're gonna go get rid of the striker fire truck. We are in Brunswick, Georgia right now. We gotta go like a couple miles down the road to the port and drop off this big giant Oshkosh striker. Big huge fire truck. Believe it or not, they make them bigger. One of our company trucks got them. This is a six by six version. They do make them eight by eights also, but I don't have enough truck. I'm only a three axle tractor. I need a three axle trailer and a four axle tractor. I don't have enough truck for those yet. Wonder what that'll sound like. Hmm, wonder. There you go. We're gonna go kick that off today. So with that, let's go ahead and push in the brake knobs and get rolling and get this big beast on down the line overseas, wherever the hell it's going. The other thing I want to do today is uh, this was pouring rain basically on and off the whole way here and yesterday we got in that downpour with uh, 18 wheels rolling. Go check out his channel, 18 wheels rolling. Go give Garrett some love there, huh? But there's a blue beacon right over there. Yeah, I know not the best truck wash on planet Earth, but uh, we got to get all cleaned up. It's looking pretty ratty. By the way, in future videos, might have something truck wash wise to bring you guys. Uh, I got approached by some people. Let's see what we can do about that. I gotta get a little downer though. I didn't forget about you. All right, let's go. We got some trucking. We got some trucking to do. Let's hit it. All righty, boys and girls, let's get this day started. Now, a lot of people ask me about my phone. So, right there is Google Maps. Now it's Google Maps, not Google Trucker Maps. I don't think they make such a thing yet. They probably never will, to be honest. So you gotta know something, pay attention, don't be stupid. If it sends you somewhere you shouldn't be, don't go, it's not that hard. But, you know, guys forget. But use your head with these, you know, it'll get you in trouble. It'll send you places you don't wanna go. So you gotta think a little bit. The other one I use a lot is Waze, W-A-Z-E. -E. That's more uh, crowdsourced for information. Crap on the road, cops, stuff like that. And they're not there, it's DigiHUD. D-I-G-I-H-U-D. -I -I Hit that like and subscribe, by the way. I forgot to say that while I'm telling you guys. So I'm giving you all this info for free. Who else does that? I know, everybody else on YouTube, wow. Alrighty. Let's get these show ponies going, shall we? Show ponies. <laughs> Quick trip. I fueled up here last time I was through here. I don't know if it made it to video yet or not. I'm slow with the editing. I've been doing, I've still been doing my typical four videos um, a week. Just haven't gotten to that one yet, I guess. I skipped ahead when I went to Louisville. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
Yellow. ID, don't need my driver's license ID. Don't need a blood sample. I just get hopefully don't need that. eat my breakfast. Had a good dinner last night though. Nice steak dinner. Not great to back down on the road. Once that big caterpillar dozer gets in there, I'll be able to see that. 
walking back down our street. Hang on. Really? All right, green shirt over green shirt. There you go. That makes all sense in the world. Yep, 185. 185. Okay. Got it. Got it. Huh? Trucks in 84, it's a lot belt.
little bitty one. It's so cute. It's a little baby. Brother. Got his trailer closed up now he's gonna put them pieces in the middle up on the trailer battery on oh, before anybody asks I did not forget my clevises they need them, so we got paid for them. They stay with the truck. Since they're paying for them, they can have them. <sighs> Alrighty, inside the, alrighty, inside the fire truck, turn the battery off, I know. It's low air pressure. That's why I like Orwell. See, it's written in words in Orwell. Rabbit, turtle. Everything's written in illiterate. That makes that go away. But yeah, everything's in illiterate. Hieroglyphics are emojis. That's just not this truck, it's all of them. Windshield's clean, er. There's some brake. High idle goes away. Reverse. Release park brake. There we go. Axles are down. I can feel them when they go off the trailer. We are on the ground. Yay! I did it. It's been a while. Stop, let it drive. Check the mirror. And away we go. I'll park it over here and it's an 8x8. Eight eight. It's a big unit, ain't it? I heard upon startup, that thing's twin engine, too. I've never hauled one. I don't have enough truck, sadly. There we 
we go, we're done. Kill the battery. Closes around it, bird crapped on it. All set? Yep, hop in, I'll take you over to your truck. Thank you. What do the other guy look like? Better off than me. <laughs> it's not supposed to work that way. That guy ran over by a fork dip, so. Oh. I figured you had to kick he some held, truck driver in the ass. He, he held up better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. There you go. Sweet. You are all set to roll out of here. Thank you much. Yeah, Dyer's 5-4 for shaggles. Awesome. Take care, brother. We'll see you. Okay. Alrighty, boys and girls. We are empty. Now we're going to go to the truck stop. First, we're going to wash the truck. Because it looks completely disgusting. There's no line. We're going to get that done for sure. ports i tell you this one you limit it to five trips in 180 days i'm like you know what you know what we ought to do as an industry you want to limit that okay no problem we'll go somewhere else oh we won't haul you crap you know i get it some people just have very basic jobs and their job doesn't take much thought process doesn't take any skill or understanding of equipment per se right it's just wash rinse repeat do the same thing you know and the hassle of a guy that's got to operate equipment like we have to operate the size of which we do over whether there's reflective tape on a high vis shirt or it's a vest regardless of the shirt makes is compliant or not I don't know but it's just and then the hassle me about the seatbelt I'm like lady nobody's gonna care whether I'm wearing a seatbelt or not when I'm moving that big Oshkosh that nobody around here is qualified to even think about operating so leave me alone you know so let me do my job right you know I get it is it a big deal no but it's the fact that what bothers me is you have very, I'm sorry, simple-minded people that are put in place to handle and hassle at times a skilled labor force. I think it's just dumb. Alrighty, on to the Blue Beacon in a better day. At least a productive one. One way or the other, right?
Alrighty, no line at the beacon. We'll get right in. Ultimately, boys and girls, you know, you, you have to use your head sometimes. Imagine if you, if they told you had to turn around and come back to the truck stop and you got a permit load. What do you do? Obviously, you don't just go back to the truck stop because if you get caught or get in an accident or just a, a DOT cop that knows something just sits there and waits and watches you go by and you're talking, you're not talking a couple hundred dollar fine, you're talking ten, twenty thousand dollar fine. So what do you do? How do you solve that problem, right? Well, again, that's where some people have to think a little before they act. And uh, most people don't do that. Any, any answers, keep cool, use your head, think it through, and if need be, stand your ground. Yay, we're here. All right, I lied, there is a little line at the truck wash.